Hi everybody, my name is Aaron Alsop and today I'd like to review and show you how to set up the Manfrotto 314 backdrop set. Uh, this kit's really nice. Uh, first off, as you can see, it comes in this uh, just nice carrying case. And I love this uh, backdrop setup just because it is something you can take on location with you and, you know, it packs up really easily so you can kind of take it with you. Um, so in the bag we've got uh, the two stands, the pole that rests on top, and it also does come with uh, two clamps here. So setting this light stand up is super easy. I'm sorry, not light stand, uh, backdrop stand. Is you unscrew this and you set up the legs. I'm going to just kind of set it up here um, in front of my green screen. Now obviously if you were in a studio setting like this, uh, you could probably just clamp the black sheet up there. But if you were to go do a shoot somewhere else and you wanted to bring a black backdrop, this would be a great thing that you could use. So what I like to do is I like to kind of just kind of get them lined up by the space I want to. I like to have the small leg or the odd leg pointing in. Make sure that those are tight. And then what you'll do is you'll get your black backdrop. Now this one is a little bit bigger than what we need, but it works. And you'll find the end or the top of it where you can loop this in. Now before I actually put this on, I do want to show you that how wide this uh, bar does go uh, because obviously I'm not going to make it as wide as this but as you can see um, kind of compared to the green screen uh, you know it's pretty wide uh, I believe this is about nine feet and it also does collapse pretty easily and the nice thing too is it's very durable uh, so you can uh, hold, I think it's up to about 20 pounds of weight on here. So, I mean, it's durable, easy to collapse, easy to open up, and it's pretty wide. So, we'll find the end of the backdrop here and try and get it as close to the length that you're going to have and just kind of start threading it through. Oop. And if you do it this way, it is going to collapse like you saw, but that's fine. Okay, once you have it on, it's just as easy as uh, attaching it. And it does have this screw on the end, so you can tighten it up and loosen it up. There we go. And we'll get it on this end. There we go. Oop. Then you'll just tighten that up, you know, just like you would anything else. And then you just kind of take the, kind of drape it how you want. So like I said, you know, this is a pretty this uh, sheet is meant to, you know, go that nine feet length, I said, but this, we're just going to do it like this. Um, generally, though, with black backdrops, you don't need it a perfectly tight uh, fabric like you do a green screen, and that's just because uh, you can get that with lighting, key it out, or not key it out, but uh, make it look black pretty easily. So what I like to do is once I do have everything tight on here, start with the top bracket and just kind of loosen this up a bit and loosen this one up. And if you've got another person, you know, that makes it a lot easier. But if it's just you, it's still possible. You just kind of go up one little bit at a time or you could kind of do that. 
So if we were, oops, if we were just having somebody sit down, you know, we could probably have the subject sit down here and, you know, I'm going to just simulate sitting in a chair and, you know, that would, we'd be able to cut that off. Now, if it doesn't, if we're going to have the people standing up where they sit a bit taller, you'll just do that again with the other bracket. Now, it's important that you start with this top one first, because if you didn't, what would happen is you would get it like this, and now you need to raise the top one up. And sometimes it's just a little difficult depending on how tall you are. If you're a bit shorter, it makes it just a little more difficult. So we've just got a little bit left. It's as high up as that goes. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's almost, or maybe you can't see, it's almost touching the top of that ceiling. So it's, you know, it's pretty tall. And once you have that, you can kind of drape these out a bit if you want. And it's not the most stable right now. So what you're going to want to do is just kind of, just kind of align it, make sure that it's sitting how it should, because if not, you know, if it's like that, as you can see, you know, I pulled this out, it stretches. Okay. So overall, you know, it's pretty easy to set up. It just took me a few minutes to set that up, and now I've got a black backdrop behind me. And uh, I'm going to change the lighting here just so you can see what it looks like uh, with the different lighting. Okay, so now we have the lighting set up, and we've got the backdrop behind me. It is just about five feet behind me, and I'm five feet away from the camera. You know, and you don't even have to use a black backdrop. You could use a white backdrop, or you could even use a green screen. And that's one of the things I do like about the Manfrotto uh, kit, is that, you know, you can really use anything. And even if you don't have a sheet that is sewed around the end. It does come with clamps, so you can easily clamp that on. Or, you know, you could even get extra clamps from uh, just online. Now, the thing I like about having a kit like this is because it is so easy and portable, uh, you can really just kind of throw it around your shoulder in that bag and just go wherever you need to. And if it turns out that where you wanted to film is really noisy, you know, you just have that backup that you can just say, okay, let's go to another room where it's quiet. We'll set this up real quick and we've got a black background. It looks very classy or a white background if you want a more kind of clean, bright look like that. And you know, you're ready to go. So if you are interested in buying this, you can find it on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, which means that if you do buy that on Amazon, it does help me out and it helps continue to support this channel so I can continue making videos. Now I am also going to have another video explaining how I did the lighting here. So if you're kind of new to how to light to a black background, make sure to click here to watch that video where I explain that light, lighting video. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. You can find me on Google+, Twitter, or you can just leave a comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.